Two of the first flagship city food hall vendors in downtown Erie have decided, we're learning, not to stay in this new development. The downtown Erie Downtown Development Corporation is already working now to fill those spaces. And our Lisa Adams has been looking into the changes. Lisa, does this come as a surprise at all or in the current restaurant climate, it's something they expected? Well, good evening again, Eva and Mike. The flagship city food hall opened in November with nine completely local vendors. But with COVID-19 and issues from staffing and supply chain to inflation, most are working through those challenges, as uh, are their neighbors at the flagship city marketplace. The flagship city food hall was bustling at lunchtime as usual, but two inaugural vendors have decided not to stay. Blue Willow Bakery and Cafe folded up a couple of weeks ago. Their station inside the door is empty. Lucky Louie's, with a well-established business up near the casino, is the second original flagship city food hall vendor to decide they aren't staying. They plan to close sometime this week, but declined to comment on camera. EDDC, the development group behind the food hall, isn't really surprised by the departures given the stresses on the food industry. There is such minimal cost for vendors to come in because we own all the equipment and so we anticipated that people would come in, try some new concepts, some might work, some might not, but we want to keep this space fresh and keep vendors rotating in and out. At the nearby flagship city marketplace, talk that Gordon's Meats might not stay because of a slow start is not true. They just had to adjust hours and staffing to stay profitable. And until a big new parking ramp is completed, they're pushing curbside pickup and getting creative. We're working with Erie Insurance, uh, UPMC, in trying to get grab-and-go coolers for their facility. So they can go on gordonsmarket.com, order their favorite Gordon's products, um, let us know what time they leave, and it'll be sitting in a cooler uh, waiting right at their, you know, their, their place of business. Even working with marinas. A lot of boats are getting in the water, so you know, we're doing some incentives for some of the marinas to come up and get their grilling goods for you know, their, their fun on the boats. The Erie Food Co-op is making adjustments, too, to stay and make affordable fresh food available downtown, saying last week was their best week since opening. Within that time, we've had to make all kinds of little adjustments to staffing, to the products that we're carrying, to the hours that were open, but we're really committed to just figuring it out. Meantime, work continues on that big parking ramp and five-story building that will bring a new climbing gym to downtown Erie. John Persinger was not ready to announce who might be moving into the food hall next, but says it's local and people will like it. Live in the studio, Lisa Adams, Erie News Now.